On 4 May 1999, the Washington Times reported, citing new reports from U.S. Intelligence and Jane's Defense Review, that the town of Tropoj, Albania was a common staging area for inlands and the Klaus forces, and thus a center for Islamic terrorists. U.S. intelligence also acknowledged that Bin Laden's al-Qaeda had both trained and financially supported the Albanians and that the Kosovo border had been infiltrated by Bosnian, Chechen and Afghan Mujahideen in crossings which originated in neighboring Albania and according to the reports included parties of up to 50 men. The James report added that documents found last year on the body of a KLA member showed that he had escorted several volunteers into Kosovo, including more than a dozen Saudi Arabians. Each volunteer carried a passport identifying him as a Macedonian Albanian. These are Albanian terrorists who have committed many inhumane war crimes and atrocities on Kosovo's non-Albanian population. Many of them took part in bombing campaigns on all parts of southern and central Serbia in which they were killed. Most of them are known for crimes committed against women and children in which they made trophies and necklaces out of child ears. And the women were raped and beaten to death. With effective reaction the Serbian police have prevented the majority of them to commit further monstrosities and terrorist acts. These atrocities and inhumane crimes have not been reported by Western media. However, Serbs in Kosovo even today live in fear and horror every day. Do you still support Kosovo independence?